Ladies and gentlemen, it is time now to welcome Sergio Perez and two-time champion Max Verstappen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make some noise, everyone. Join us on the sofa, get comfortable. Can't even hear you guys over all the noise, but how are you both doing? How are you enjoying being here in Melbourne? Well, it's a bit cold. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What is no. this weather? I, I think we should have this race again as the first one in the year um, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think they agree. And uh, because I think those three weeks definitely they make quite a big of a difference for the temperature. Um, <laughs> yeah. And normally you always, you know, get to Australia thinking it's going to be like incredibly warm. Yeah. But um, yeah, this uh, this time around not not so much. But um, I'm still enjoying being here. You know, it's it's an amazing atmosphere. It's an incredible city. They really love sports in general, but also yeah, racing in general. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we can be here for a long time. I hope so too. I just want to point out this little kid that's on the shoulders uh, of his parent. He's obviously trying to get your attention before he he tumbles down. <laughs> Hello. that you have a great Australian accent. So we're just going to take a little look. I'm, uh, I'm working on it. You don't, you don't want to see it. Just we're going to see it. Australian uh, accent. All right. Say it today, mate. <laughs> Caio is the best place to watch the one. <laughs> That's going to be amazing with a Mexican yeah. trying to speak Australian. Hey, mate. <laughs> you want to watch F1 on Caio, F1 Planet. <laughs> So give it, a, give it, give it a try now, Checo. You just, yeah. you can speak no, uh, the local, can... they speak the local language. You already saw that, so I, I'm just, that was actually from last year. I think. Uh, we... No, you did much better this year. So. <laughs> no, I mean, it's getting worse. He was on it. <laughs> Checo was on it. He was on it. Can you give us a little uh, sneak peek of how it's improved over the last year? Come on, give him we'll... something really Aussie to say. We'll try, mate. <laughs> What do you think? Good? Go on. We'll try a little bit more, mate. <laughs> you can try now. No, no, we'll, we'll get Daniel on the stage for that. I think he's a bit better on it. Where's Daniel, by the way? Ah, there's Daniel. That's Daniel. <laughs> he, he will be on later this afternoon, no doubt about, no doubt about it at all. This season, a little bit of race talk. It's obviously been 1 2 coming in here as well. What's the feeling inside the camp at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I think in general we were uh, positively surprised with the, the pace of the car. I mean, we knew that we were going to have a good start to the year, but you never know what the other teams are going to come up with, right? And um, yeah, I think uh, the car has been really enjoyable to drive, a bit more predictable to set up compared to last year. And that's exactly what we wanted to, to achieve. So uh, yeah, we are very fortunate to be in this position right now. And um, yeah, we'll uh, of course try to, as a team, win, uh, win more races. So. Absolutely. And Checo, last year uh, you got a podium here. How do you think this weekend is going to compare? Yeah, well, I think uh, yesterday was a little bit messy. I don't think uh, we managed to get a good reference on what Sunday is going to be like. So now FP3 coming up and, and I expect that most of us will, will be going a bit blind to, to the race. So that, that will make it interested, interesting for, for the race. So, so yeah, I think it's still plenty of, of action and I hope I can improve what I did last year. Now, we spoke a little bit about uh, Danny Rick being back into the, the team for you guys. Has he got anything lined up for you here in Melbourne? And what's it been like having him back in amongst the Red Bull family? Uh, we already did a bit of uh, content filming with, uh, with Daniel. And um, yeah, I mean, I know Daniel already for a while as a teammate as well. So we had a really good relationship and that never really changed. I mean, of course, he went on to do um, you know, driving for different different teams, but the smile was, was always the same. And he's um, a really good addition to the team because he um, he brings a, a lot of happiness. You know, <laughs> already this morning he walked into the into the hospitality and he's immediately with a big smile. I don't know what he did last night, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, he's always he smiling. That... He has a bit more free time than us to do fun <laughs> things in the night. So I don't know. <laughs> I think that we should try and bring in some fan questions okay. now. Sounds a good so plan. So if anyone... Hit, oh, 
we've got these. Yes, this child has been waiting for you two to arrive. So let's give him a go. Come on. Uh, hello, Max. I love you. Um, my name's Eli. <laughs> my name's Eli. I was wondering, in 2019, three-time F1 world champion, Nikki Lauder commented that you're the talent of the century. If this is true, do you believe you'll win eight championships, unlike Michael Schumacher and Lewis, and Lewis Hamilton? It's, um, it's a very good question. I mean, um, <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I think um, you will always try. I mean, I'm already happy with what I've done so far. I mean, if if I will never succeed anything <laughs> any more, then I mean, I think it's still okay. But um, yeah, it's an amazing achievement what other drivers have uh, have done before me in F1. But you need a bit of luck as well, you know, to be able to do that. I mean, we uh, we basically need a car like we have right now for for a few more years <laughs> to uh, to be able to do something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, I think back in the day before I even got to Formula 1 at Toro, so you know, I was speaking to a lot of teams and um, it's always very nice to hear these kind of words, but at the end of the day, it's very important to just focus on yourself and don't get carried away by it, because there will always be a lot of positive things and negative things, and I think it's very important to be in the middle of it and just focus on, on the performance on track and try to always get the best out of yourself, basically. Now that, now that you have got two world championships and congratulations, have you got a different perspective though now to some of those that have achieved multiple ones over many years? Well, I always said after the first one already, I was like, well, whatever comes next is a bonus because when I started racing, the goal was to, to get a title. And uh, as soon as that was achieved, I was like, that's done. Like, basically, you have achieved everything in the sport, but of course, once you're in a good position with the team as well, you want to try and keep it up. You want to try and win more, but somehow that's the feeling is always different because it, it, I mean, it's still super nice to, to win races and that's why I'm here, right? If, if I will not have that same feeling again of trying to win, then I think it's time to, to stop right? because the motivation is different. But yeah, that first kind of feeling of winning a title i think i will never have the same thing but of course i'll you know especially with the team we have around us now and also for the for the future the coming years it's all looking very promising it's it's amazing to be a part of that of course i'll try to win more but yeah you need a bit of luck like i said just give us a quick snapshot for these people here what's going to unfold over the next 24 hours what's the aim today and then and then obviously to, tomorrow How, how's it going well, hopefully, <laughs> yeah, well, like they say, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's the target. Um, yeah, like Checo said, it was a bit messy yesterday, so it's a bit unknown of where we are exactly. I, I'm, I'm expecting we are strong, but it's also a bit, um, they put the new tarmac on the track, and it's, a, it's fast, but it's also a little bit unpredictable with warming up the tyres, so, uh, yeah, a bit of a question mark going into qualifying. And a word from you, Checo, before we let you go. Yeah, I think it will be really important, you know, to get a good quality and uh, be in a good position for tomorrow's race. And uh, yeah, hopefully we are able to give a, a very good race to all, all these fans that have been amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up. Two-time world champion Max Verstappen. Sergio Perez.